Hindi na bago sa sistema pang edukasyon sa bansa ang paggamit ng internet, gadgets at teknolohiya sa pagtuturo at pag-aaral. Ngunit isinasagawa ito bago ang pandemya sa face-to-face -face classes. Ngayon sa new normal education sa bansa, tatlong pamamaraan ang ginagawa ng DepEd para maipagpatuloy ng mga estudyante ang kanilang pag-aaral. Blended learning, distance learning, at homeschooling. Sa 9th APEC Conference on Cooperation in Higher Education, ibinahagi ni Education Secretary Leonor Briones ang malaking kaibahan ng mga mahihirap at may kaya ng mga lungsod, gayon din sa mga pribado at pampublikong paaralan. Sinigundahan nito ang pangamba ng United Nations Educational Scientific and Cultural Education o UNESCO ukol sa equity of education. Uh, local governments in my country, for example, are uh, financing, giving uh, digital devices, helping schools in their localities. And this has uh, resulted in equity problems between and among poor local government units vis-a-vis -vis those who are relatively wealthy, between and among urban and rural uh, schools, and also has widened uh, further the gap between and among private schools as well as public schools. Kaya sa pagtitipon na may temang the new era of digital education, multilateral approach and challenges for APEC, idiniin ni Briones na ang isa sa dapat mahanapan ng solusyon agad ay ang pagkakapantay-pantay sa larangan ng edukasyon. And therefore, uh, you would suggest that as we discuss these five topics, perhaps equity is the most uh, urgent and the most uh, important. After all, these problems have, this challenge has existed even before COVID. Umaas ang kalihim na magpapatuloy pa rin ang pagpapalitan ng estratehiya o diskarte ng mga bansa sa paglalatag ng new normal education. We need to develop and to enrich sustainable learning systems for regional education, but also we consider bilateral exchanges, which is also very uh, popular and is practiced between and among countries. Think of futures education, beat the challenges of rapid change in ICT and the equity challenges that they present, encourage movement of students, of faculty, of technicians, of scientists, between and among countries which are locked down and which have quarantine procedures, travel restrictions, and also to modify digital cooperation strategies to ensure high quality and, as I repeatedly say, equity in education. Sa ngayon, 34 na bansa pa ang hindi nakakapagsimula muli ng kanilang mga klase dahil sa COVID-19 pandemic. At malaking hamon talaga sa marami pa rin bansa ang pagkasa ng new normal education. COVID-19 has exacerbated and worsened, widened the digital divide within and across countries, especially with the demands of digital learning. And it has been mentioned that students without reliable internet access struggle to participate in the learning process. Also, uh, the challenge is to develop general ability to learn with knowledge and skill for solving real-world problems and challenges. Pinuri si Briones sa mga ibinahagi niya obserbasyon at mga tanong na maaaring magindaan para sa pangkalatang solusyon. Sa new normal education, kailangan lang marahil. Unang matutunan ng lahat ay tanggapin ang sitwasyon ngayon at pag-aralan kung paano makakasabay at makikibagay. Jan Scosio, Radio Inquirer, Nueva Deventa, Bayan Nagtatanong, Mamaya nag-uusisa.